Hey guys, welcome back again to Ken Tamplin Vocal Academy where the proof is in the singing. Today I want to give you three easy tips on how to sing without strain. But I want to clear a couple things uh, that are in the air that I see on the internet that I think are a little wacky and I'll explain to you what I mean. The first thing is, is that if someone gives you a tip for something, it should always be with a view towards how you're going to be able to use it with a practical application for singing, okay? So the very first thing on my tip number one is <laughs> make sure that if you get information from someone that that someone can show you how to really use it in a song and it's just not some zany exercise that you do um, to, you know, do something that you won't be able to use in real songs, okay? But within that tip, I want to discuss breath control and abdominal strength. Now, I just saw one artist slash vocal coach uh, say that, um, that tension uh, starts from the ground and builds its way up. Well, that's true in part, but I don't want to confuse the word strength and tension. So it gives this idea that anytime there's any kind of, you know, uh, work that has to be done in the abdomen, that could be construed as tension. It's patently false. In fact, your abdomen and your core and your diaphragm is the very engine that drives your car for singing. So without this strength, you will not be able to sing well and you will not be able to release tension throughout the rest of the body. Now let me explain to you what I mean because we're going to go through three steps of this. So the first one again is make sure that if you're getting a tip from someone that they can show how well they sing and they can demonstrate it in a song, not just in a scale or some weird exercise, but something that can be practical, okay? So when we go to take this breath, let's not confuse strength with tension, okay? That's very, very important. So we've discussed the abdominal breath and I'm gonna take this breath really quick and I want you guys to do this with me. So you see my, my whole abdominal cavity here and as I go to take a breath, I'm gonna breathe in as we've done this before. I'm gonna go, here's my breath in, here's my breath out. Here's my breath in, here's my breath out. Now if you notice, you see my rib cage. My rib cage is actually not collapsing like this. It's staying in an expanded state. So I'm not huffing and puffing and closing down the rib cage or collapsing the rib cage. So if you see it from a front angle, it's See that big balloon of air? Now people can make this big balloon of air and really it not be that effective. Just because I'm huffing in and out, I'm not really gaining any strength in the sound. So what I want you to do in this first tip is I want you to go like this, taking your breath, and go, ha, 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 ha. Okay, now, if you feel like it's starting to bind up, yes, then that is starting to create tension. Get your fingers in there. Just kind of grind in your stomach just a little bit. Work out whatever details that are in here. Right? And, and make sure that you, know, you, can, you can have this ebb and flow of this, you know, the breath that you're taking and you can take the breath. Eventually you're gonna get to where you can take the breath like this and you go, ha 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 and you'll be able to have this ebb and flow. Now, why is this important? Well, it's important to understand that it's this breath that gives us the strength to go, crazy notes and do these crazy things. Now, I'm a baritone, as you know, and I've, I've increased my range to do some pretty awesome stuff, I think, awesome, relative word, awesome fun for me. Um, but it's because of this strength that I have been able to actually relax my chest and to relax my neck and to relax my throat. Now, the second thing was, is posture, as we've discussed posture. And I, again, I just saw this vocal coach, you know, they have this kind of rolling sensation where there's this teapot thing going on. Now, there's some, there are some yoga exercises that are great for relieving different spinal tension and different neck tension, and we don't have time to go into all that. But tip number two is not to get the spine tip. We don't want to tip the spine in any direction. We don't want to tip the spine forward. In fact, you're going to note that when you sit, you lose up to 30% of your abdominal strength and therefore you can start to mount tension because you can't get enough strength to accomplish some of the things that you want to accomplish. If you want to sing high or sing with a good robust sort of sound, you have to really focus on not moving the body. That doesn't mean be stiff. That's not what I'm saying, but not tipping the spine because once you tip the spine in a certain direction, especially forward, you actually lose control of abdominal strength. So that's tip number two. Don't tip the spine in any direction. Don't get tight or tense on it, but maintain a, a straight on position. 
The third thing is, is tongue placement or jaw and tongue placement. Relaxation is called the mandible. So relaxing the mandible and the jaw. Now, to stick my tongue out and go like this is actually a mounting for tension in the tongue. Now, a lot of people have seen my tongue and go, and they'll see it kind of protrude out of my mouth. That's because I've learned how to relax the tongue so much, it's kind of like a lizard tongue where it pulls away from the back of the throat. Now, the best thing that I can tell you guys first is ping is king. That nice bright ping in the, in the, in the voice is the most important and, and really the most valuable thing that grows the voice. So within ping is king, there's a phrase that I've coined. It's called it's the la a. And it's that ah, like the doctor wants to see your tonsils in the back of the, your throat. So you might even get a little tongue suppressor or something and kind of gently push down on the back of your throat to create the maximum amount of space. But we don't want our tongues protruding out of our mouth and we don't want that because it's going to actually um, contribute to jaw tension. Now we can kind of go, you know, kind of just relax the jaw and kind of, you know, just tilt the neck and do a couple of these, you know, like this, just to kind of release some of that tension. But we don't want to do any exercises where we're actually singing because when we sing and we go back, it actually cuts air off in the trachea. And we move forward, it also cuts air off and it also constricts the airflow that goes in past the epiglottis, down and out of, out of the mouth and in, uh, through, the, through the larynx, which is our voice box. Now, I'm gonna do it's the la, ah. So this is tip number three. You want ah, ah and you want your tongue to be flush to the base of your jaw and you want the back of your throat to be as open as possible. I like thinking of drinking a glass of water or yawning. Now yawning was a correct, there's one thing this person said that was correct about yawning. It's a, it is a yawning sensation, but it's like the doctor wants to see your tonsils. Ah, now, with a view towards that, when we do these exercises, and we'll run through a couple of them here real quick, we actually want to concentrate on having the abdominal cavity do all of our work for us because it's the engine that drives our car and a relaxation response in the chest, the neck, and the throat. And that's why we don't collapse the rib cage so the rib cage stays expanded so that doesn't contribute to tension in the chest, neck, and throat. So let's go through a couple of these. Now I wanna do that little huffing exercise. I wanna try a scale. Now it's a little complicated. It's not gonna be easy. And by the way, I don't believe there's a lazy man's way to anything if you wanna get good, okay? Now I'm not saying that there aren't simple, effective things that you can do, but in my world, um, in the way I believe, um, in order if you wanna be great at anything, you really need to spend some time with it, and the more time that you can spend with it, the better you'll be, okay? So um, guys and girls, I'm gonna start here um, on A, and it's gonna be a, an old Bel Canto scale, and I'm gonna break it down really simply, but I want you to take your breath. Ha, 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 ha. Ha 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 And I'm not gonna go through the whole scale. It's actually long. I'll, I'll do the whole scale so you know what it is. But I want you to notice the breath here when I go to do this. Now watch my tummy. Here I go. Ha 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 Okay. Now I want to have that relaxation response in the abdomen because it's a lot like when you're doing a, a dumbbell. Let's say you're in a gym and you got a barbell going on, right? Now you don't want your relaxing spot to be like this and you're holding on like this. No, you want to relax. Once you've done your reps, you want to just kind of chill and relax, right? And then you do your next set of reps. Well, so it is with the ebb and flow of the abdomen and the whole diaphragmatic uh, cavity. Now, let me go ahead. We're going to move this up the food chain. We'll do a couple of these. A la. Ha, take the breath. Ha, take the breath again. Ha, 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 ha. Did you hear that? Let's do the next one. <clears throat> ha, 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 ha. Is your mouth wide open? Not, not to where the jaw is, gets tension in the jaw, but enough to where the doctor can see the tonsils in the back of your throat. Is your tongue dropped to the base of the jaw? Let's do another one. Now I'm gonna do one more, and I'm gonna, for those of you that wanna expand this, this scale is actually pretty long, and it goes like this. And you can feel that 
Yanni. Hello. Each time you go up to get to a note, that yawning sensation that will lift the soft palate and lift the uvula in the back of your throat to create the maximum amount of space in the back of the throat. Now remember, ping is king. So make sure you have that nice, bright, ah, and I go, ah, ah. That's one more thing I'd like to add about, uh, the, I just saw, again, this video where their mouth was closed, oh, oh, oh. We don't want to train closed vowels. It's called the covered sound, and it's very hard to get pitch and it's very hard to um, get good range out of covering a sound. So what I like to do is I like to train things I know that I'm gonna put in the game, in, a, in, the, in the game of, of singing, okay? I don't wanna train things that I know that I'm gonna have to redo or rework later. I wanna use techniques and things that are gonna really benefit me in my singing. So if you guys enjoyed that, uh, please like and subscribe to my channel, that would be awesome. And uh, I've got more coming your way, and until next time, peace out. Somebody!